Hello there everyone, this is Neko Knight here, getting ready to play The Infected, and today we're gonna be setting up myself a workstation, or basically it's gonna be where I do all my rock uh, making, or grinding, all that fun stuff, and we're also gonna talk about a little bit of tidbits, helpful tips and tricks when fighting Bambies while we do this. Well, mostly explaining the outline of this. So, one of the, as I t tell most people if, that manage to stay for this long, is that I like to sprinkle in tips, tricks, helpful hints, and all that fun stuff into my videos. Oops, I forgot my cart. And if you've watched my other videos, you will see things like I've shown about the force field against Vambies. Where the hell is my cart? Oh, okay. It's around here. And I've also shown you uh, in another video that you need uh, spikes and these things in order to eff efficiently deal with uh, the Vambies without them teleporting in or overwhelming you or taking out your base. I've also shown that the spike traps when damaged, if you move them and move them back, they can they're automatically repair. I'm assuming that's going to be fixed at some point when uh, people report that to him. To the developer. I've also shown in that until the developer fixes this there's no point in building the watermelon crate or the pumpkin crate and having uh, Mike harvest your watermelons for you as that will just result in him forever walking. Oops. We have there's a couple things I need to get ready though for and that is I need to start getting spikes and barbed wire set around my foundations. I ended up having, uh, while I was AFK on one of these spot in my greenhouse, I had uh, a mini boss destroy a lot of my foundation there, so I had to reload because I didn't realize he was there. So. If you decide to, you can watch my other videos in order to figure out what the hell I'm saying or understand what I'm saying. If not, well then you can always watch this video instead. I won't actually show you in detail how it works, but I will show you or tell you the rough idea on how to do it. So if you want to, just watch my videos and learn. Trust me, I find all kinds of interesting things. Even if it not even if not every single video has something, one video out of like at least every other one does have something interesting in it. Whether it's uh, a little bit of information that could have helped you, or a bug that I discover in the process, and holy flip. I'm going to have to bring a lot of log carts. Like I've shown how to overpack your truck with a couple of extra crates that normally you can't do. Oh, out of stuff. So, as it and if you're wondering how to do it, just check out the other videos. For now, we got to get that set up and I have plans for that. Oops, I better go make a drop. And this, personally, I love to build things. I know, I, oh, and I have also suggested things like triangles, foundations, like give us a, a 90 degree triangle, a 30 degree triangle, a, a, a 120 degree triangle, and a few other degree triangles. Throw those in, and that would be great. Another thing would be allow us to build diagonally on these. You, There is a way to do it, 
with the curves, but it's a lot of resource intensive. I've also explained that, uh, what is it? Uh, oh, let's actually grab this. What is it? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. I've also explained along the way that uh, windmills are actually the best use of power, although they're expensive as hell right now because, but that's because they're, uh, well, they produce power 24 seven. And for those you don't know, the ground that looks like this, the light grayish like this, that's aluminum. The ground that looks brownish like this, that's cobalt. The ground that looks green, that's copper. So you just, if you're wondering where to build, you just look for these because like, there's a couple key spots that you can build if you want to maximize distance. Like, right here. In this little area, somewhere in this area, is the ultimate place to build because you've got copper, cobalt, or not copper, aluminum, cobalt, copper, fish, alligator. This this is like the ultimate spot to build in here. And you can also set up defenses. I, I might end up setting up a base here one time or up in here. Because there's technically only one entrance you can funnel all the enemies into. Although, since there's no more Horde Knights, that doesn't really matter. Oh, oh yes, I gotta continue building, otherwise I'm gonna... Part of what I'm doing is actually kind of semi-resetting up my farms. Because I need to plant them. And... Uh... Is this fully grown so I can harvest them? Yes. Oh, no. But that is. So I got it. Dang it. I'm fat. Now I'm not fat. Woo! And perfect. I'm down here, which means I can now add on to this greenhouse. And once I've completed this... I'll be able to um, set one greenhouse to feed uh, Mike, one greenhouse to set up for me. I'm going to need three pans and uh, what else? Oh, oops, I grabbed too many uh, stuff. So let's actually go make that. We're going to need three pans and one pot. The reason why I say that is because in the Itempedia, the... Three ult the ultimate things you want to build or make, well, technically, the ultimate is this. Rations, which give you 5 health, 5 stamina, and 0.25 thirst, and 0.1 resistance. But, if you really want to break it down, the meat stew for health, the... Potato pie for sun resistance, the bacon pie for stamina, and onion soup for thirst. As that will give you, these things will give you the max, which means you're going to need one pan, two pans, three pans, and a pot. And you're going to need a stove. So, oh, and you're going to need a workbench to make it. So, let's see, we need one two, three, let's make a pot, one, two, let's make a pan, perfect. Now the thing is, is this is a little bit tricky with how they use these because it gets annoying sometimes. Uh, let's put the pot there, let's put a pan right there. This, you have to take this, uh, no wait. You have to click on the stove, and then you have to drag over this onto that in order to fill this up. Which means you can put this, but I have to turn that on, which next episode is going to be all about wiring. And setting up power structures, and uh, uh-oh. I, I 
I may actually have to craft some chest armor and boots and leg armor in order to handle this 14 degree temperature. Oh, here we are. Here's my cart. And uh, another thing is, is I've shown a trap. It's not an actual trap, but it's a raccoon trap. Oh, since it doesn't actually trap trap the creatures. All right, let's grab this. Let's grab some logs. We're gonna have to put some food into uh, the place for Mike because he's not gonna collect logs without food. We're gonna need to stuff this. The one thing that I, I, I wish is that there was like a, a, a big cart, let's say, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, what some, another suggestion that would be real nice is a big cart. Instead of holding 12, it can hold, I don't know, 24 logs, and it costs, like, 10 iron, and I don't know what else, uh, and, like, 60 nails, and, uh, I don't know, uh, five steel make it expensive as hell but it's capable of holding 24 logs so that way instead of being able to only do let's say uh one two instead of being able to do only just three foundations you could do uh Six foundations significantly speeding up the process because now I got most of all the stuff I need other than logs. Logs are the one thing. And when you build your sawmill way out here, it takes forever to get back. Alright. Okay. There we go. I, I had to fix... Uh, my game real quick and reload it. My stats should be working again. I didn't realize they weren't. Alright. Let's continue to run. Although we gotta be careful now that our stats are working proper. That's another thing is I need to work on my stamina. Because 100 stamina goes by fast real fast if I'm lucky I'm gonna try and get some oops uh, some of my things set up I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the and since this is right on the road I think I might have the door right here so that actually no I think You know what? I think I'm gonna have the door right either here or right here. All right, we need more logs. But yeah, there's all kinds of helpful information that I tell as I play. It's just, are you willing to watch and listen or learn? Sometimes I had come across events that are like crazy. And I might actually do a, an episode episode on fighting Bambies. Like suggestions on how to do it. From stupid methods to actually the best. Gotta be careful. There's an idiot out here somewhere. And I don't feel like getting everything destroyed. It might just be easier to chop down trees nearby and place. Once we get the foundation down, though, we're going to uh, you. We're going to set up. Uh, not walls. Oh, and I'm gonna put the grinders on the back side here, and then put down the uh, rock collectors 
and you'll see why w once I get to that episode if if I get to that episode for now let's just continue to get the foundation here worked and I do okay Ooh, screws. And I do need to get the roof of this uh, built at some point, too. And I really love ha having Mike. Now that the fact that he actually does stuff, it's amazing. Now we just need a big cart. I know most of this stuff is well never gonna be seen or probably never get oh you flip nuggets there's a mini boss out there i know most of this will never be seen or be implemented at least not what until i reach more people uh i really hate that it, it Flipping, it goes by so fast. It's I I can only make three foundations and then poof, all gone. Oh, you know what would be really amazing? If we could actually put uh, stands. We can move these stands, take them, plop them in here. So we got one, two, three of these log stands. That that could be the fix. You wouldn't have to build a, a more expensive cart. You'd only be allowed to place it on the cart. You, you wouldn't be able to move it anywhere else. And you could hold eight, eight. That's 16. That's 24 logs. You could hold 24 logs. That's double the amount that you can currently hold right now. That would be... That would be perfect. And it wouldn't be too OP. And it wouldn't cost too much. See? Ideas like this. They pop up in my head. And they would actually be amazing if we could do them. But... Sadly. Nope. You know what? What is it? Three, six, four, four, and four, twelve. You, you know what? We got a big tree here and a little tree right here. We can just chop and chuck. Chop, 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 chop. That's another thing is if you spam the number with your axe and or pick, you can high speed chop these. So here's normal. One, two. And then if you just do this one two it chops it and reduces all that animation time all right let's get this all filled in oh we had an extra one the hell oh stupid idiot got impaled on my spikes that's why you need metal spikes and barbed wire. I thought I saw Mike uh, having a party with Zambies over there for a second. Alright. I don't know how many stone grinders we're going to need. And I'm going to have the center here. Uh, I believe this is the center. We're going to have this. Uh, da, 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 da. Constructions, ceilings, walls, stairs. We're going to have this. And go up. Boom. We're going to have a second floor uh, area in the back here. We're going to put a wall. wall. And uh, I'm going to set up a wall. And then we're going to set up some, uh, some windows here. And then we're going to set up uh, some ceilings that connect. Hopefully, and the, this will turn out great because then I can uh, I take corners of the foundations I need. So I have I I just thought of that right now, right here. So we're gonna need to keep this area open up 
And for now, let's just keep mark the boundary of that by placing one of these and one of these. That will keep that separated so we have room. Then we're going to place placeables, other. We're going to take a stone grinder. We're going to need probably don't need too many. We probably only need four. If we need um, more, I'll add more, but for now, that's where that goes. And then we're going to need cement mixers. And what is it? Uh, placeables. Other. We're going to need cement mixers. And we're going to place those right here. So we're going to have one, two, three, four. Move this out of the way. Uh, you know what? Let's go blitz this guy. If you get the chance, strike them while they're screaming. So if you, if you see them, sprint and strike. Another helpful hint is this. When, when you strike your uh, spear, swing it like this. You have a hit box. Uh, the spear has a hit box, so it's capable of striking anything in its path that gets in its way and I hear a wolf as much as I want you wolf I, I need to get this set up we're gonna need a bunch of cement mixers so I, I think six might just be enough it may it may not be so let's get that down and then we're gonna need if this is going to be the entrance, we're going to need to set down uh, that. Do I want to... Actually, I might want some windows. We're definitely going to have some windows here. Actually, this entire back spot's going to be nothing but windows. Window. Window. Uh, nope. That's going to be a door. Window, window, we're going to need to set this down here, we're going to set this here, okay, next we're going to need to place down a door right there, so if this goes right, we go here, we go up, we're going to have that, so let's actually set this up to get the stairs set up, the door set up, and then and a wall set up. As soon as we do that, we'll have the outline for this base set up, and then I'll probably finish some other project, that, and then we'll start getting wiring set up. The one thing that sucks about foundations is they're expensive as hell for the amount you can carry with you. Uh, all right, we need to trash this, trash that, keep that, keep that, put this up here. We might as well just, actually, we might as well put that all down here. They, it's five spots, so one, two, three, four, five, five, dang it, I have one too many, actually. Never mind, I can trash this and place that and perfect. We got room, so now we can grab planks. Grab everything we can from... Actually... If I grab too many, I'll have to build another plank stand. If I don't, oh well, or perfect. Oh, and uh, another thing is, I there you can technically carry an extra log. It's just a matter of how you uh, do it. And there's another mini boss, so let's go deal with him. This is uh, gonna be a little bit of a fight. 
Actually, we might be able to pick the um, small ones off. Oops, out of stamina. Nope. <sighs> Kill. Kill while it screams. Harvest. Harvest. And then now that he's all alone, boom. <sighs> Oops. Too many strikes. Oh, electrical parts. Uh, you know what? We're going to have to move some of these items down here. Perfect. Although I have way, way, way too much electrical and too much everything else because I've been constantly killing those guys the moment I see them. If you see them, attack them before they have a chance to react. Okay, so let's get this filled up. This filled up. We're gonna need one of these. Load the logs in here, load the logs in here. Load one in, load the logs in here. Okay, now we're gonna need a ceiling. Uh, what is it? Ceilings, square. Uh, da, 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 da. I need to place another stair. Dang it. Okay, stairs. Perfect. I don't think I have enough for this. Okay. We need three logs for that. You know what? Let's just chop down one of these. That looks like a big tree. I, I'm going to have to probably come back for this. Yep, okay. Well, we'll be able to set this up in the way I kind of want to. Which means we're going to need to set ceilings. Another one of these. Put that. Perfect. This is going to turn out the way I want it to. Actually, let's grab this. Let's grab the logs that dropped over here. Oh, I'm full. Let's grab one more set of logs. Oh, how the hell did you get over there? And let's chop down one more tree. And this will be the base of my place. Uh, the, ba the base of my setup for my uh, work zone. Although I will be adding a tiny bit more to it. In other words, I'm going to be adding in some walls right along here, some foundations, and a couple of other things. So let's get this set up so that I have the floor right here set up. And this will be my storage area. This will be where I store everything, or not store everything, but where I store my uh, metals, my iron, my all that fun stuff. Nope, oh, we need one more log. So for now, I guess I'll call it here. So if you guys enjoyed, please like. If you want to see more, just check out my other uh, videos. You can check out my channel. I do all kinds of other games and all that other fun stuff. I do give tips, tricks, helpful hints, and other things. So if you end up needing help, just look through. And I need to drink and eat and all this stuff, fun stuff. Perfect. Oh, there's another mini boss. All right, now that realistically I don't need these, I'm just gonna keep those there for that. And this is the setup. So anyways, bye-bye.